Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Where last time, we saved Bruma, and today, we're going to save the entire bloody world. And it does definitely feel like we're coming up on the end here. We are chasing Cameron down to his paradise, though, um, yes, I'm increasingly suspicious that, uh, paradise ought to be put in inverted commas as soon as we get the Amulet of Kings back, bring it back to Sean Bean, he goes and does the ritual, Oblivion Crisis bloody done. So alright Sean, let's make this flipping happen. I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's Paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for Paradise. Just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? As ready as I'm going to be. Weapons are fully charged, armor and weapons at max condition. Let's flipping do this. Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Brace yourself. Alright, just step back and... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this does look a bit on the, um, evil side. Given that we're the good guys, this definitely looks really bloody evil. So, okay, I'm guessing Cameron's Paradise is just another Oblivion Realm under the circumstances. Got it. So, alright, you have fun here. I'll see you in a couple of minutes or something. Well, hopefully anyway. And okay, blimey, never mind. It's, it's rather nice here. Pleasant weather. Plants. Like, you know, not the hell plants that try and, like, you know, kill you back when you try and pick them, but pleasant stuff. Okay. So, find Manko camera, kill him, get back the amulets. So... The cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Okay, Gaia Alata. Vision of the past, so... Uh, I mean, this does all look fairly familiar. This potentially could be like, say, I don't know, Cyrodiil used to be many years ago or something. And also, can I just... Ooh. Hello. Are you guys like, you know, maybe wanting to be friends or something? Or you guys may be... Well, they're not pulling out weapons yet. That's good. Please end this nightmare if you can. Oh, never mind. I thought you guys were having a lovely time in this lovely environment, but, um, no. Apparently you want this nightmare to end, though, um, yes. What's so bad about it? To be honest, it looks quite nice. Everyone here died in the Master's service. As the Master promised, we are now immortal, like the Daedra. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the Garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn and the cycle begins again. No one has yet found a way to leave the garden, except those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Okay, bands of the Chosen, Forbidden Grotto, and that might be my way out of here. And yes, if there's going to be one place Mankar Cameron's hanging out, the super elite awesome VIP section, that might be it. But yes, Gaia Alata. Gaia Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it Paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Cameron's palace, Karakagayalor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter the Forbidden Grotto. But they never return, so we don't know what fate awaits them. Yeah, but I'm guessing it's not a good one, so... Okay, you guys are apparently super chill. You're just hanging out. Doing your own thing. Lovely. 
So okay, just a nice lovely island as far as I can tell. The odd ruin, though they don't really seem to be doing much. They're not shrines or anything. So may as well follow the path because, yeah, I need to be going upwards by the sounds of it. Just go in that direction, try and find a bridge, a staircase, something. And to be aware, there's definitely danger somewhere because we were specifically told uh, these guys are tormented uh, forever by the Daedra. Behold the savage garden where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala. My seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. Okay, so one, the reason he's tormenting his followers is he wants to make them slowly stronger. So eventually they can be reborn and whatnot. And there's a Daedra right over there. And two, yeah, we're not sneaking up on him using the information we got out of his followers. He 100% knows where I am. He wants me to come find him. Okay, no reason to fight literally every Daedra in the world. Just head over in. Okay. The Daedra don't seem to be fighting me. You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. Okay, so the Daedra here are not attacking me. They are also willing to chat, so fascinating. And Gnona, I don't know what that is, but then again, I just go into Oblivion Gates and destroy everything without, you know, asking questions, looking for directions, signposts, etc. Probably one of the gates I took out. Our clan sacked your city of Kavach. A trifling task, fit for scamps. Your swift retribution earned you much respect among my people. We had not expected that a mortal would act with such resolution and honor. It is no dishonor for us to speak. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even realize you guys could speak, but um, okay. I'm looking for Mankar Cameron. If you, like, you know, know and respect me, any chance you might be willing to help me out? Because maybe I'd make a better overlord than stupid old Cameron Woods. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. Oh, there is a deal to be done here. I can smell it. There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Ganona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? I mean, to be honest, I was hoping that, yes, you might enter my service, actually, but... You know what? We have fought so many Daedra, just for once, let's actually, you know, see if we can do a deal with one. An intriguing choice. And I have a task in mind that will test your wit and your loyalty. The rabble of the Savage Garden have imprisoned the Zivili Anaxes. I consider his humiliation... A fitting punishment. However, his shame attaches to me, and though the matter is too small for my attention, it is not too small for one of my servants. Free Zephali Anaxes, and I shall reward you with the key to the Forbidden Grotto, the bands of the Chosen. Here we go, right by the shore, tiny cave right here. The Lair of Anaxes. Right, now we're on the right track here, though. Yes, he did say that this was just, you know, a bunch of people. And these guys don't seem to be, you know, wearing armor or anything. So, and then again, it's also a cave. I can probably just sneak straight past them. So, all right. 
No trouble, buddy. No trouble whatsoever. Activate log. log. Don't let Anaxes out. Okay, hang on. Do you know I'm a here? And you have, like, you know, a, a counter proposition. Why shouldn't I let Anaxes out? He's trapped at the back of the cave. It took us weeks to prepare the trap, and he killed us many times before we finally succeeded. The lesser creatures of the Eternal Garden still torment us, but Anaxes was the worst. He toyed with us, prolonging our deaths for his pleasure. You must not release him, for pity's sake! Okay, so in a way, it would be bad to release him, because he's going to torment these people over and over forever. But, one, these are the dicks who actually joined up with Mankar Cameron, who have been like, you know, attacking me in the middle of cities in broad daylight for months at this point. And two, I'm about to destroy this entire plane of existence, so it doesn't actually matter one way or the other. So just back to hidden, activate the log, and unfortunately, there we go, we have released an Axis, a lava lee. Hello there, and I'm guessing you're about to do very bad things to these individuals. Yeah, I figured as much, lovely. Take these pens of the Chosen, then. Wear them, or you cannot enter the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Eternal Garden. Honor. And pride bids me tell you, none can escape the Forbidden Grotto. There, you will be the charge of my kinsmen, or they. Okay, so I'm guessing you're all face next person I need to either kill or do a deal with. And I suspect the deals are going to start getting worse and worse. Oh, and the bands of the Chosen aren't just a key. They actively make me weaker weak to fire, specifically. So, okay, I'm glad I'm not a vampire, because, uh, yeah, vampire weakness to fire, stack with that, I'm guessing Orthe is gonna be using fire. Like, literally the only way to get to Orthe is to make yourself weak to fire, he's gonna be using fire, gotcha. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The Principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbour of Meridia, Periite's Quagmire, the Ten Moon Shadows of Mephala and... and Dawn's Beauty, the Princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Okay, so uh, the whole of Tamriel is just one great oblivion province, which is why this particular province I'm in right now looks just like Tamriel. It doesn't. Tamriel looks just like, oh, that's so cool. I love it. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty Maybe gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? I will soon How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Okay, so the eight or nine, depending on how you choose to count, they took over the realm, though 
I'm going to be honest, I do prefer it under their management, given, yes, generally, Oblivion Realms are lots of lava, lots of death, lots of cruelty and nightmares and whatnot. Under the 8 and or 9, yeah, things seem to be a lot more friendly for me and my sort. So, okay, you know what? I think I prefer it under their management. We'll just stick with them, actually. That's fine. And here we go. The Forbidden Grotto. And red glow. Door opens. Here we go. Replace... Okay, I literally can't take the bands off. Those are now, like, um, welded to me for the time being, so... Okay, I'm weak to fire in the area that appears to be, um, yes, rather filled with lava. Oh dear, I think I may have just discovered why no one ever comes back from the Forbidden Grotto, and it would appear to be because uh, this is where they just dip people into lava. So, okay, don't worry, buddy. I gotcha. I flipping gotcha. We're just going to get you out of there and... I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't actually mean to dip you into the lava. But I feel like this guy's had some dipping already. He deserves a break, damn it. So, okay, you have like 10 minutes in the lava. And then if I remember, I'll come back and switch it over again, all right? Oh, I think we might just have... Uh, Another person who's coming for a chat. Lovely. You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Okay, so uh, my name's John, and okay, tell him, because so far everyone's been quite willing to do a deal. Some of these people not enjoying the paradise. Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron? and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Okay, so we've got someone else who wants out, but... Yes, indeed. Who are you, buddy? I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. Okay, so I'm guessing at some point it all went a bit wrong. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. Okay, and hence the lava. This isn't where people go to escape, it's where they get sent when Cameron decides that they're not grateful enough for the eternal paradise torment he set up for them. Oh, this place is just lovely. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dramora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Okay, this sounds hilarious. So you want me to play along with being tortured? Oh, I am 100% up for this. This sounds great. Good. Follow me. And don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, the fact you just said that makes me really not trust you. What's going on here? Who's this? A prisoner sent in by... Show me some respect, worm. Unless you want to end up in the cages with them. Yes, Kinreeve, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathartet for questioning. I was about to begin. 
This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is she? Nothing escapes your vigilance, Kinbrief. Cathetet wondered as well. This is why he sent her for questioning. Well, carry on. Of course, Kinbrief. Prisoner, into the cage now. All right, into the cage, no problemo. Oh, you're about to lower me into the lava. Okay, am I allowed to have a... Am I allowed to have my healing magic set? Because this is going to really hurt. Not actually have that much, uh, you know, health and whatnot. Oh, he stopped just before the lava. Okay, thank you. That's very kind of you, actually. Lovely. There's no way for me to cross. But the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. So, okay, out the back of the cage, though, to be honest, I could very easily have just jumped over this lava river, but whatever. And uh, straight through, uh, let's try and find ourselves. Okay, there's definitely clan fear here. Wait, should I be causing trouble? Should I maybe just be trying to avoid trouble, if at all possible? And, okay, just... If we can. If it's a fight you sneak. want, it's a fight. Okay, we're not just going to be able to sneak through. Got it. Straight through over to here. That's apparently a different bit of the Forbidden Grotto. They may or may not be able to follow me here. Okay, definitely some of them can. You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. Okay, I've picked up a new companion. Brilliant. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Okay, so Cameron still very much knows I'm coming and presumably knows that Elder Mills betrayed him. So uh, we're not exactly going to be, you know, surprising him with uh, this defection or whatnot. Still, what we do have here is an excellent opportunity for you, buddy, to demonstrate what it is you can do. Let's just get some arrows on all of you guys. Get some attention moving in this direction. Oh, there are... There are many, many creatures. Okay, block up the entry point if we can. Take out the clan fear. They hit surprisingly hard, but I wouldn't just run forward, buddy. That's this is a bad idea. There we go into the lava with you. He's just run straight to the center of all of them. Wait, where'd you go? Did he just... I think he might have... No, never mind. He's still there. I thought he just fell straight to the lava. Oh, bloody hell. Well, this is... This is quite a lot of... Right, this is... This is a lot. A lot of Daedra. Right, take out the day drop and... Hang on, I think possibly... Never mind, I think he might be dead after all. Oh no, hang on. He did die, but John, he literally told you he can't die. He just keeps... Oh, well, that's bloody good. Even if he dies, he just pops back up again in a second. Marvelous. Okay, now that's a cool trick. I'm pretty sure he just fell in the... Yep, he just fell in the lava again there. Good job, he just fell to... Uh cross the bridge, so... Okay, fair's fair. We're going to change around the people in the lava, and we're going to assume that this guy will be back in a second. I'm really sorry, by the way. Oh, that's... That's really deep in the lava, actually. And here we go. Eldermill is back from the dead. Marvellous. And we have got the door back out to paradise. Presumably up to... Yes, he said there was like a... Um, a terrace or something. And we spoke to the guy down below and... Okay. I know I should be focusing on saving the world, but... I don't recognise these flowers. So... Ambrosia? Oh, well, lardy flipping da! These are going to make amazing sandwiches. 
Although, fascinatingly, they appear to only have, uh, yes, one effect, unlike everything else, which has got, like, four that you learn over time. This is uh, nothing but restore health. Meanwhile, I'm assuming the other one, given, yes, the coloration of the flower, will probably be Restore Magicka. Oh, and not just that, but Nightshade as well. They've left a Nightshade just sitting around in huge quantities, suggesting that maybe, just maybe, Poison is a good option when dealing with Mankar Cameron. Gotcha! Okay, I can't deny, I love the fact that somebody, when they were designing, like, the final area in the game, did actually think, you know what, we're going to leave stuff for the alchemy specialists, okay? We're gonna leave special stuff so the potion makers can make some last minute potions. That's just amazing. Okay, all that in a hand, I see where we're presumably supposed to be going, but... Any chance you guys want to have a nice chat about how you'd like to join my team, because... I mean, they're not attacking me on site. Okay, everybody just wants to chat today. This is lovely. You did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. Okay, when you say, I didn't expect to see you again, I have no cooking clue who that is, actually. Okay, this guy is Raven Cameron. And your rumor, Cameron, suggesting, yes, these might be, like, the children, or maybe adopted children, if you're, like, you know, a particularly favored worshipper or something, though... Maybe I met them at the cave when Mankar Cameron, like, you know, went into the Wibbly thing that brought him here in the first place. Maybe that's when I killed these individuals. And I'm so sorry, but Mankar Cameron's gonna have to wait a little bit longer because I have never seen these flowers before and I might never see them again. So I'm not leaving until I've picked every single bloody one. I mean, this is just enough health potions to keep me going all day, every day. This is gonna be beautiful. And here we go. The Carrack, presumably the palace. So we're pretty much there. We've made it to where he's waiting for me. And I'm guessing that's the lad right over there. Okay. This is it. The final bloody showdown. Weapon away. Let's see what he's got to say to me. Because I have brought some assistance too. Alright, just maybe John. How about you be like, you know, full health before you start taking him on. And uh, actually that's true. Everybody here, including my friend... They just keep popping back to life after they die, so what's to stop him doing precisely the same bloody thing? Like, if everybody here can't die, surely he's extended that to himself, too. Okay, Cameron, let's me and you have a chat, because I'm guessing you've got some gloating to do. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathed the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined. The mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me, in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. Okay, 
kill him, take back the amulet, and... Uh, okay, I'm guessing we're not gonna speech check him down into just, you know, handing over the amulet. I feel like this is about to come to, uh, fisticuffs, as it were, so... Okay, hang on, he's... He's not actually bothering to attack, he's just sending his minions in to do it. Well, that's just bloody marvellous. So, okay, don't worry about any of that. For the time being, time to figure out, yes, which of my toys do or don't work. Because, uh, step one, if you'd like to hold perfectly still, I'd like to clone you. So, just... Have we got ourselves a clone? We've got an evil clone! Yes, evil clone, I love it. Obviously, he's going to be uh, summoning. That's his thing. Activate the Staff of Hoarfrost, so we can just get, yeah, some lovely weakness on this guy, and boom, just get, oh, blimey, okay. John, get the healing in play. Straight away, get healing in play, all right? You're going to be hit from all sorts of sides constantly. There is no reason not to. The game did also give me, yeah, poison, so can we paralyze him? Don't worry about that for now, but uh, yes, just get some poison on my blade. But it just damage over time is not going to hurt now. Shields up and oh bloody hell. That one's not me. Go. Get some damage. Oh, he's got some. Oh bloody hell. John. Purple. He's got some form of damage reflection on him. So if I attack him... I'm just going to be damaging myself. The problem is I don't know whether it's, yes, spell reflection or normal reflection. However, he's definitely a mage. That means my best bet is, yeah, take a mark of my words off. I'm currently mid-attacking, don't mind me. Take that off. I need, yeah, some reflection, ideally. Namira's got 10% on it. Reflect spell 20%. Sunfire is uh, the better option under those circumstances. I've already got, yes, my reflect damage hat on. That's good. Uh, and I could go over to Spellbreaker. That's a huge amount of reflect spell. The armor's going to go down, but it's still pretty good. And you know what, John? That's completely irrelevant. Go completely over to, yes, reflection. Because you have got 51% shield in a potion right here. So, okay. Drink that. Brilliant. That's going to last for, like, almost three minutes. Spectacular. That's just absolutely A-OK. -okay. In addition, he's a mage, but he's a mage using a staff, which causes me some problems because it means I can't just silence him. Then again, there's a good chance he's going to try and do uh, some spells. A bit of silence would not hurt. Let's get that on the old blade here. Now, where is this guy? Hang about. Oh, that was... That was not him. That was... Oh, that was Eldermill. I'm so sorry. You all look very similar. Okay, try this again. But this time, don't do it unless I'm really certain it's him. So, go. Okay, you are now silenced. That is good. And uh, reflect magic is... Yeah, anything you toss at me has a good chance of coming straight back over to you. Heal up. Keep healing up. He's just trying to magic me, but it's not doing anything. All of this is just going straight. Oh, this is good. This is really good, actually. Okay. It's one-on-one, -on -one, but I think at this point, he can't hurt me because... Oh, flipping yeah. That was the right strategy. So, okay. Special robe. He had reflect damage and spell absorption on him, but okay. I had nearly 100% spell reflection there. His staff, which I assume was dumb powerful, was doing nothing. But more importantly, the Amulet of Kings is mine. Don't you worry, Sean Bean. There's his staff. Okay, that's got to be good. The staff has got to be good right here. Honestly, I would have thought it would be a tiny bit more than that. Because uh, that's actually worse than Hoarfrost. Because that's 24 for 2 seconds. Uh, and uh, weakness to Frost. So, okay. Stay out of the way. And I suspect your reality is currently... Unraveling. Hang on. Can I just sit on your seat? Yep. Sit on his throne before... I think he cursed his throne with paralysis. Fascinating. So, okay. Manka Cameron is dead. And I'm back here. And I assume this gateway is about to dissolve like any other Oblivion Gatewoods. And... Lovely. You found a way back. Does this mean... Yes, indeed. Cameron's dead. Here's the amulet, buddy. Let's go save the world. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. 
While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. So, okay, go meet up with Ricardo, get the ritual taken care of, job done. Though, I suspect it's not going to be quite as simple as that. We need to get you from here to the Imperial City. And I suspect we're going to have to fight for every inch of land between here and there. Okay, on the plus side, Sean Bean has regrown his tiny crown, so now, yes, he can't die. Beautiful, though. There's literally no one else planning to come with us to, like, the Imperial City, because... Okay, Blades, I feel like this is literally your one job. They're genuinely just hanging out inside the temple and letting me and the Emperor go on foot to the Imperial City alone. Magnificent. Okay, am I even allowed to just fast travel straight back to the palace? Because if I can, I'm going to feel much better about life. Bloody hell, I actually am. I was fully expecting you cannot fast travel to this location at this time. And we'd have to go on foot and it would be a giant menace and... Okay, sky, nice and blue. Guards are looking nice and chill. Honestly, this has gone much better than I was expecting. I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Martin Septim, on behalf of the Elder Council, I Chancellor accept your claim to the Imperial Chancellor throne. Ocado. We should arrange- Chancellor Ocado, the city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an Emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. This really feels like something that, like, as I say, the Blade should be doing, but apparently they couldn't be bothered to escort the Emperor to the Saving the World ritual. Beautiful. So, okay, this is it. We literally just need to get this guy to that spot. He does the ritual, instant win button. So, uh, Temple of the One. That should actually be really nearby, because the palace district is, uh, yeah, a big circle in the centre. All we need to do is get him to the right door off the roundabout, and then the temple is right in front of you. So, uh, this is barely any distance at all. Right, weapons out, he's- Oh, blimey, okay. When you say the danger are inside the city, you mean literally inside this room right now. Marvellous. So, okay, just take you out. Try not to hit Martin, if at all possible. And we've got- Martin, are you okay? Okay, Martin will always be okay. He's fine. He can just get back up again afterwards. Not a problem. Right, everyone with Martin, he's- Uh-oh. Martin just lost his special crown. Okay, Martin can actually die again. Bloody hell, we're doomed. Okay, spoke a bit too soon when I was talking about lovely, uh, yes, blue skies uh, earlier. Just need to get Martin to the right place. Keep on keeping on. If I can get some souls uh, while I'm passing by. Can't get souls off you, unfortunately. Need to get souls off, yes, the more demony lot. None of this. And come on. Come on, come on. Just focus on him. Go into a different weapon. Let's get some souls here. I need to keep my weaponry going. That was completely the wrong, wrong weapon. That's the right one. Go. Right. That's you. Nice and set up. Finish you off. There's some soul for me. Lovely. Okay. Wave 1 appears to be almost done at this point. And yeah, they are seriously obsessed with me, which is great. We've also got... Okay, where did you bloody go, Akanto? And you know what? I misjudged Akanto. I figured he was definitely going to be the traitor or something. But no, he's actually been a good egg. I need to get to the Temple of the One. It's our only chance to stop Merun's Dagon. Yes, sir. Let's move out. Okay, the temple should be somewhere over in... Uh, yeah, one of these exits. This one right here. That's the temple district right there. We're basically... Already there, so, okay, straight through, get this done, same again, no problem whatsoever. 
Oh, we've got gates. We've got big ass gates. Everything's fine. Send in some reinforcements. Try and keep them away from Martin as far as we bloody how. Where are my reinforcements? No, seriously, where are Okay. Um, can't help but notice everyone who was on my side appears to have gone away and Dagon's here. Barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed. Only hope now is to defeat Dagon himself. Okay, that sounds bad. When when did that happen? Oh, bloody hell! There's a giant monster here. Okay, I, I, I agree. That's that's bad. No, seriously, where the bloody hell did Sean Bean get himself to? We're too late. Mehrun's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. I'm really happy this cutscene has happened with Akato mid spell casting standing in front of Sean Bean so we can't see him during this critical moment in the Oblivion Crisis. That's just our peak Bethesda game right there. So, um, okay. Dagon's here, so we can't reinforce the barrier now because he's already through it. Right. So, in which case, yes, we need to cast him back into Oblivion before we do the ritual. How do we do said thing? I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him, but now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. Okay, well it sounds like we can slow him down a bit at least. Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea. One last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. Okay, sounds like you've got a plan, buddy. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. Okay, you just said to me, we can hurt him, we just can't kill him. So just toss enough damage at him, we might be able to... Stagger him, knock him down, temporarily distract him. You know what? I've got plenty of toys. Let's just toss everything we have at him. Maybe it'll be enough or so. Okay, I know this probably won't work, but... In theory, can I use the Skull of Corruption to create, like, an alternative version of Dagon on our side? Because then we'll have a god too, but the god will be fighting for us. Surely, if one thing can kill Dagon... It's another Dagon, right? All right, into the Dagon Plaza. Try and take out the clan fear because that's fast and simple. And guys, I could do with some assistance in saving the cooking worlds. Help me get past Dagon and into the Temple of the One. I'll do the rest. You say that, but you're also refusing to bloody actually come with me. I'm with you. You say this now, but I'm going to bet in 10 seconds time, I'm going to be on my own in there again. Okay, I'm not sure whether this is supposed to be happening or if it's just a bug, but they are not following me. So, okay, it's up to me to just take out, um, Dagon. So, I'm just going to sort of, I'm going to give it a go. Skull of Corruption, activate! And boom! Can I create evil Dagon? Or rather, like, good Dagon? I have not created good Dagon. Okay, just get in the temple. We just need to get to the next plot trigger. Because apparently no one's willing to bloody help me with the actual fighting of the final battle to save the world. And I think we might have done it. I think that might be good enough. So, okay. Brilliant. We just ran straight past Dagon. That was my genius plan in the end. Just run straight under him. I think he may have stepped on me on my way past. But I just had enough health. Thank goodness I invested a bit in endurance by the end. I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. Okay, he's got himself a plan by the sounds of it. And oh bloody hell. He's a dragon now. I didn't know he could do that.
amulet is shattered, Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. Did he just make me Emperor? Because if so, I am 100% up for that. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! Okay, so, um, fun fact about the giant dragon sculpture just off to the right of me that wasn't there ten seconds ago. What do you mean, gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes, indeed it was, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really surprised you did not end up declaring him a god over this. Like, the man literally turned into a giant flaming dragon. Like, if you're gonna say Tiber Septum gets to become the god Talos, then Sean Bean should definitely be deified for this. Though, uh, then again, maybe if he was the avatar for Akatosh, he can't really be, because that was just an aspect of Akatosh, rather than, like, you know, an aspect of Sean Bean. So you can't just make the Sean Bean god, because he's like, okay, I'm sure he's having fun wherever the people who worship Akatosh go. Then Martin is gone. But the gates are apparently sealed. That's it. The end of Oblivion Crisis. Marvellous. So, uh, okay, we took a bit of a roundabout way to get there, but we did get where we wanted to get. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. And yes, that is indeed a good point. Who gets to be Emperor now? Because uh, I'm not saying it ought to be the person who's already demonstrated competent leadership over the Fighters Guild, and the Dark Brotherhood, and the Thieves Guild, and the Knights of the Nine, and probably several other organizations I'm forgetting. Oh, Mages University, forgot about that one, but I am saying I am by far the most qualified person in all of Cyrodiil, yes. This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! Okay, I really feel like, um, yes, High Chancellor Ricardo should be worrying about the future. It's like your one job, your kind of regent, until we can find a new emperor. As I say, should be me, but whatever. Though, yes, what's the implication? The lads kind of lost control of the Imperial Army, so... Oh, you are not kidding when you're saying dark times are ahead. If the nominal head of the Empire doesn't control the Empire's army anymore, bloody hell, you're in trouble. Yes, is the Elder Council going to, like, do anything at this point? We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest, I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, troubled times lie ahead. Okay, which feeds very nicely right into Skyrim, where, yes, half of Skyrim is in open revolt against the Empire. Gotcha. In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil. And, as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire... I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Okay, we get a super awesome set of unique armor, apparently. 
Imperial dragon armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, champion. Though it sounds like, yes, he's ordered it, it might take, you know, a few days to show up or something. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. All right, so there we go. We've got a brand new super awesome dragon sculpture here. That is okay. That is a cool statue. And tragically, there's an invisible ceiling here, so I can't just, yes, use my acrobatics ability to climb up onto Sean Bean's back. As hilarious as that would be. Oh, and there it is. Temple of the Warner has been destroyed. Statue's still there. Imperial City's been slightly burnt down, it must be said. Break in at the Imperial Palace, a Black Horse Courier exclusive. Take a copy. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Malleus. I feel like possibly that newspaper might be a little bit behind the times, and you might want to potentially consider a different front page today. Oh, and one crucial thing, apparently we can worship at the foot of Sean Bean. So just activate that, and the blessing of Sean Bean is upon me. Giving me a bonus of a 25 to luck, that's actually... Okay, that is a huge upgrade right there, luck already up to almost 100, marvellous. So, okay, there we flipping go. Level 30, the main plot is complete, though by the sounds of it, yes. At some point, I will be informed that, uh, yes, some lovely armour is ready for me, and uh, I'd say that means uh, we all know what happens next. Yes, indeed, blimey, apparently it's going to take two whole bloody weeks to make that armour, so I think I know precisely what might, you know, fill up two weeks rather nicely while I'm waiting for the Imperial Smiths to do their work. Sitting out in the bay next to Bravel is a mysterious island, and on that island uh, is a strange doorway that will take me to the Shivering Isles, regarded by many as one of the best expansions uh, that Bethesda ever made. A lot of people seem to absolutely adore this thing, so uh, next time we're leaving Cyrodiil as we step through the strange doorway and figure out what is waiting for me inside, because... Uh, I have uh, no bloody clue what we're getting into here, so uh, join me next time and we will find out together. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.